course, I'm here with Aristides Lodefetus in his South Bronx studio. And we are in Lot Haven, correct? Right. And you've been here for how long? About 12 years. And this is kind of like an artist area. Yeah, originally this was a warehouse area, which is now filling up with artists. But how did you find it? Uh, my friend Wanda Raimundi Ortiz, I think, was the first person in the building. Working here as an artist in the South Bronx is what kind of experience? The Bronx is very empowering because several reasons. One is financial. I don't think I could afford to have this kind of space in other parts of New York. But also the community here is really uh, tight and supportive and there's great discourse. I started making assemblage when I was about 18. And I was thinking I was making artwork. I used to collect things and glue them together. And at the time, I was also taking a lot of photographs. We used to have painting parties. I turned on to painting. Oh, amazing. And I got a little consumed by the medium. I found myself becoming a painter. And I was really interested in, in being an artist who was able to express myself in a lot of different media. Being born in Greece and moving to the United States when I was a boy, having to deal with a very substantial paradigm shift. A lot of the things I knew were challenged and I had to adapt to a whole different society, a different culture, different understandings. Generally, I'm interested in juxtapositions of patterns and layers, which would encourage the viewer to have a, a deeper, a closer look. If the artworks are visually intriguing and evocative, then you start to see how they're composed and you start to process the information. The patterns begin to speak to each other. They begin to offer continuity or perhaps dysfunction. What I like about the work is that it sort of invites the viewer to unlearn preconceived notions of whatever kind of pattern is involving you or structuring you. fabric for a long time. These uh, kente claws came from a shop in the Bronx. Yeah. So this is very interesting because this is an African design uh -huh. that is printed in Indonesia and then brought back to Africa and now to the New World. So sense of like, I don't want to say migration necessarily. Absolutely. But yes. Absolutely. Like cross-pollination, migration, diaspora, labor and structures and commerce and everything and, and also how that comes out in the fabrics that you use. These are yeah. these are actually handmade. So you know for me these are about labor, they're also about the thread, which is a line. And then the grid, which is the canvas mesh. And the dance between the grid and the thread coming up to make an image. Uh, what I was commenting about, uh, craft and colony, was about labor and how European grandeur was often built on specious labor. That's what was uh, named craft and colony. And the images on the piece referred to uh, European idealizations. I'm scheduled to do the window at um, One Main which is in Dumbo. So that, that's a window that they give to artists once every two months and I'm slated to do an installation in October. Do you know what it's going to be? I have a couple ideas I'm playing with. Perfect, yeah. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>